Hi guys, alright, so I'm going to do a quick nine week update. I know I am very behind. Um, I more than likely will be uploading a second video about... <sighs> Hold on, I'm going to have to move you guys. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting is really bad, but I can't lean on that side for too long. Even really, at all. I'll explain in a video what the heck's going on. But I wanted to uh, do my nine week update because I did record one. <sighs> but because um, I was kind of out of it because my back has been hurting me quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to upload that for you. And I'm doing this video before I take my flex rolls so I can go to sleep. Um, so I wanted to hurry up, get this done, and just kind of bring you guys up to date with my nine week, um, well, my ninth week of pregnancy. Um, I know I said that my videos was striking a little bit more organized, but was it planning on hurting my back? So, um, I had an appointment on Tuesday, um, at that point I was meeting with uh, the lactation consultant who's also the midwife, one of the midwives. Um, and I kind of wanted to do that so I could talk to her and get her opinion of the um, placenta capsulization. Um, which, long story short, she's in total support um, to help with my um, supply issues that I've had with both children. Um, she said definitely it's something worth trying. She said if it doesn't even work, it's something natural, so it's not it's not gonna do any harm um in trying. Like some of the medications that um which I feel so bad for Yami because even uh she had my the, the lactation consultant had actually explained that some of the medications can actually have a reverse effect on you and actually dry you up. Um so uh, that's why she wants to try this with me because I've had supply issues with both children no matter what I've tried the herbs don't work and we didn't want to try the medications so actually I didn't give a doctor wouldn't prescribe the medications when with my daughter they just said oh well you're done breastfeeding which bothered me quite a bit so I talked with her but then I was talking to her about my back and at that point I had gained a half an ounce a half a pound which was awesome, um, considering, you know, I'm down 20, what was it, at that point I was down 21 pounds, so I was down 20 pounds, 0.5, so she's, they're so happy that I'm, <laughs> I went up, um, so I met with her and I talked to her about my back, and I said, you know, I can't, I said, I pulled the muscle, I just, nothing's helping, Try not to yawn either because that hurts too. So she said, let's try the flex roll. She said, if it doesn't work, because they had told her, you know, she knew about all the throwing up that I've been doing and everything like that and the coughing. And she's like, I think you cracked a rib. She said, it's not, it's not common, but it's not so rare that it can't happen. Um, she said, yeah, it doesn't normally happen to somebody that's 26 years old who has good bones. She's like, but, she's like, you gotta keep in mind. She's like, you're throwing up, you know, eight, nine times a day. You know, she's like, it, but like I said, I said, but it hadn't, it has been a while, so. Um, so anyway, so I said, but I could have, you know, because I sneezed, so I said, well, could it, you know, I just pulled the muscle. She said, no, let's try the flex roll. So I tried the flex roll. Hasn't helped. So, went back today, um. Because I was having more red bleeding. I'm really getting sick and tired of this red bleeding that I keep having. And um, major, major cramps. So we went, um, let me see if I can. This is from today. And this one's from Tuesday. And our little girl, because the Hyrus doctor is pretty sure she's a girl. Um, this time when I went, <laughs> I'm measuring a whole week behind. Um, but also, she wouldn't sit s still, so, um, because of that, I have to go get measured, have the dating done again next week, um, just to be sure that everything's okay. Uh, she's not concerned with the dating 
well, the lactation in the midwife, she wasn't concerned with it. The high risk actor, he said, well, let's just be sure. Uh, he said this one was also done over the abdomen, so he said that can sometimes make it, you know, make it a little bit more difficult. Um, so he said not to worry about it. Um, but, like I said, you're going to check next week. So, um, reminders of pregnancy, just fatigue. Well, actually, my fatigue isn't that bad now because I've been sleeping more because of the, um, the flex for all because it makes you very, very tired. Um, so, we did the flex for all. What else did we do? Oh, they had a change. <laughs> I think I maybe said this, but probably didn't. When I went on f last Friday, um, I had lost more weight. Um, that's what brought me down to the 21 pounds. So they put me on a different anti-nausea medication with the Zulfran. And so now they had to switch me back to the original one because that the one that the, he put me on and the Zulfran actually can interact. He said it can have the opposite effect. He says not doesn't happen, but he said I hey, let's not <laughs> let's not go there. So they switched me back to my original one. Um, which means I have no appetite again. And I, oops, sorry, I lost a pound between Tuesday and today. So, and a lot of it is, is just, I'm not hungry. And it's, a lot of people say, well, just eat small meals. And it's like, and it's like throughout the day. I do because I can't eat a big meal. Let's put it this way. Um, because my doctor's appointment We were running behind, and I didn't eat lunch. <sighs> I ate lunch before we went. That's right. I ate two chicken nuggets because we stopped at McDonald's just because it was, which I know is not great when you're pregnant, especially when you don't eat much. But I had two chicken nuggets, and I was full. Like, you know, like when you've eaten way too much full. I was that full. I felt very sick. So. Um, but every everything else is pretty much okay. Um, I will make my video about my back. So I will talk to you guys on Sunday where hopefully I can make a better video for you guys. And I'm sorry. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. This is starting to fill out. So yeah, you guys can see that's starting to fill out. Oops. From the front. From the other side. Yeah, it's starting to fill out right here. And even this part here. And if I was brave enough to show you guys my uh, C-section scar, you actually can start to see that's coming up too. So definitely we're starting to get some, some growth. Alright, so we are going to do this test. Sorry, it's going to be done a little odd. Um, the muscle I pulled in my back from coughing is acting up really bad, um, but I still I want to do this for my nine week vlog for you guys. All right, so I'll be back because uh, this is going to be very odd how I how I do it. So I'll be back. Alrighty, so this is what we got. It takes only like fifteen seconds. And it gives you this paper. So according to this paper. This is definitely, well actually no, it's definitely more of a boy result, but it's definitely pink. So according to this, this is girl.